and welcome to a rather Christmassy unboxing video and I've just returned home from la some last minute Christmas shopping to find this was awaiting um, on my doorstep. Now um, it is a rather large box, that's my hand in size comparison, so let's open it up and have a little look. Now, uh, there is some info on the front there, but uh, we're going to try and avoid that. I am doing this one-handed because I wanted to get this out as quickly as I could for you guys. Um, okay, so we'll move that box off to the side there. Okay, so what have we got here? It's from Microsoft, so that should give you a fairly big hint. Okay. Fairly slim box, but it is quite large and it's quite heavy as well. So let's flick open the lid. And we have a picture of a computer with a keyboard, with a mouse, with a little box and a phone. And then inside we have a phone, a keyboard, a little box and a mouse. But we've also got two other boxes down here. So let's have a wee look at these first. So what have we got in here? This looks like... Okay, so we've got lots of things in here. So we've got a three pin power brick, which is connected onto a... don't know if you can see that, that's a USB type C charger. And then we've got a USB type C to type C cable. Some, two, some AA batteries, some information for the Microsoft Arc mouse, which I will show you now. Here is the Microsoft Arc mouse with a uh, Wi-Fi, sorry, a 2.4 gigahertz adapter. Quite nice, actually. And we will close the box up. So that all came in. Apologies for the shaking. Um, as I said, doing this one handed. In the other box, we have what looks to be another power brick. So, yes, it is. Again, another power brick. And again, that is USB Type C, three pin power brick with another. USB type C cable, but this time it's got a USB 3 on the other end so That's what we've got in those two little sub boxes now um, Those of you who are aware of the site will have cottoned on this is indeed the Lumia 950 XL um, I've been really looking forward to getting hold of this um, this is not retail packaging. This is a press sample kit. Uh, retail packaging, you literally get the phone, you get this little box, which has your power lead and your cable in it. Um, you do not get the other bits. So we'll move the phone off to one side. In here, your standard warranty information from Microsoft. And then under here, we've got the foldable. Bluetooth keyboard, which, if I get in there, is very, very like the Surface keyboard. You can see here that it will support Windows, Android, and iOS. And it's got all your media control keys on the top. It doesn't have any of the um, F keys, which, oh, um, it has an FN function, so these must change to F keys if needed. A um, little bit of a weird space bar. It'll be interesting to see how I get on with that. Um, but I have been keen to test that one. And that charges via a micro USB. So they've included a micro USB cable there. And uh, some information on the next item, which is over here. Pop that back in for now. And that one is the display dock. Now this is the really, really, sorry, it's uh, been quite tricky to get out. 
This is one of the things I've been really excited to see. We've all seen the phone, or there's lots of videos of the phone. Wow, okay. I did not expect that to be that heavy. That's got some heft to it. Um, give me a second. If I just drop that on my table, you can see that is solid. And it's aluminium. Uh, you can feel the coldness of the aluminium straight away. So on the back, we've got three USB ports, uh, one of which looks powered, um, and the other two are non-powered. HDMI cable output, display port output, and a micro USB-C charger. On the front, nothing really apart from that micro USB-C input, which is clearly marked for phone. On the back, the bottom, sorry, it feels like we've got a soft touch finish. And on the top, you've just got your Windows logo there. That's quite hefty. And then, as I showed you earlier, the Microsoft Arc mouse, which I really like. That's actually a really nice mouse. Um, unfortunately, I am having to send this sample kit back, but you know what? This, this might be something I buy. Good clicky actions. And you've got your trackpad, or uh, scroller in the middle. And then click it down, and you get your mouse. Click it back up, that turns it off. And nice and slim, good for traveling. Possibly something worth adding to my blogging kit. And there you go, That that is pretty much uh, what we get in the box. So I'm just gonna quickly give you a run around of the phone, okay? Because uh, really, I know that's all you really want to see. Um, so we'll just get this out. I'm really glad they've sent me the white one, actually. Um, I was toying with buying one of these myself um, before I was approached and asked if I wanted to do this uh, review. So the, the white one was the one I was going to go for all along. So really pleased that's the one they've sent me. Let's see if we can get this out. Um, once again, sorry, there we go. So, here we go. Um, so, we've got a 5-inch 2K screen up front. Up the top there, you can see your 5-megapixel camera, which I believe is also the same um, sensor used for the Hello on the uh, Windows Hello Unlock. You've got your camera uh, shutter key, volume down, power, volume up. A little bit weird to have the power in there, but it is... It's nicely recessed, actually. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there is a slight difference in height. Around the back, a Carl Zeiss lens with pure view technology, 20 meg, and three different LEDs. Speaker grill up the top uh, above the camera, and then you've got these uh, little holes at the top and bottom. I can only presume that's got something to do with the cooling. Don't really know. Um... USB Type-C on the bottom, and then nothing on the left-hand side at all. Really, really like it in the white. That just looks really... Oh, on the top, sorry. There you go. Uh, three and a half mil headphone jack. I do like this white. It's really, really, really nice feeling. Uh, there's no lip between the screen and the case, which is nice. Uh, let's open this up because this is a removable back cover. Um, now... Microsoft have actually been quite clever here. They've got a removable back cover, but they've also still kept uh, Qi charging, and that's where that big black thing there is. That's your Qi charging coil. And they've also kept the NFC as well, um, which I'm assuming would be possibly that section up the top there. Um, so inside the phone, we have a micro SD card slot at the bottom. Uh, that is good for up to two terabytes. And then you've got your battery, which is a 3340 milliampere battery. And then underneath this beast of a battery, which is actually quite slim, you have your nano SIM. So... That's the phone there. Let's just pop that back in. Making sure I don't break anything. Pop the case back on. Clip it all in all around. 
Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly pause it there just while I grab another phone for a size comparison. Okay, and we're back. And I've got another couple of phones here. So here is the OnePlus X. And here is a Xperia Z3. Now the Z3 is closer in size. So we've got the 5.7 inch screen, 5.2 inch screen here. Thickness wise, very, very similar. Um, the Windows Phone is a tad thicker. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these two phones compare. I also have a Z5, which I'm filming this on. Um, and then you've got the OnePlus X, which is also around about the same thickness, to be honest. Slightly thinner, um, but then again, that doesn't have the camera bump on the back, and this has got a bamboo case on it. So, really, really pleased to get this phone. This is going to be getting used over the entire festive period um, and well into the new year as my main device. And I will be getting back to you as soon as I can with my report on how it is. So that's all from me just now. Um, for those of you watching this shortly after Christmas, I hope you enjoy your Christi enjoyed your Christmas and um, have a good new year. Cheers. Bye.